You're watching All to Play For, brought to you by Joe and Coral. Yes, yes, welcome to All to Play For, brought to you by Joe and Coral. As always, I'm joined by my man, man my man, my main man, Car. You know what, Joe? I was on such a roll there. I like got carried away with the spirit of everything. Yeah. I'm so excited about talking about you. <laughs> How are you doing, JC? <laughs> <laughs> I'm splendid, mate. I'm splendid. I can't splendid. wait to do this in person again. Splendid is such an underused word in the British, uh, in, like, in, in our exactly. language. Exactly. Oh, so now I've been working in the media, mate, I've added about seven or eight new words that I just keep using. Splendid's one of them. Seems Man, that people not... seem to like it. I, I'd be throwing splendid into conversations. I'd be dashing that in all the time. It's, right, like, a, it's like a, it's a great, well, it's a splendid word. Yeah, it's, it's just, just dropping bombs. I'm very much considering getting splendid like as a tramp stamp across my lower back. <laughs> <laughs> in dedication to my guy, JC. <laughs> uh, we've got a, uh, we've got a great show today, John. J J J I like I'm drunk this morning. <laughs> no, How I, many did you know, have last you, night? No, I've done, no, do you know what it is, Joe, right? It's like, I've not spoken to anyone because I'm in self-isolation because we're, right. we're filming King Gary, right? So I'm in self-isolation. Apart from talking to you and Ramesh at the weekend, I don't talk to anyone. So it's like, I'm Shut literally, up. yeah, it's like I'm in self-isolation until I come to this. And then it's like dizzy as hell. You know, like like when a, like an excited dog, when you knock on the door, <laughs> the dog is just like jumping up. That's what I'm like when it comes to a Thursday, brother. Um, we've got a great show today, Joe. We, we're going to talk about what's been going, what's gone wrong at Liverpool. Disastrous World Cups and the story of one of the most famous Champions League finals of all time. But to talk us through that, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a legend of the game. We've got, you know what I'd say, one of the biggest characters of the game. I was buzzing when this guy came over to uh, English football. He's an absolute G. Buzzing to have him on the show. So put your hands together for Mr. Dibriel Sissé. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello, big man. You know, the big one for us is this is, a, well, apart from Joe's uh, foreign escapades, this is the first time we've we've had someone from, like, Europe in, right? This is the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, Were you in Paris, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I'm in Paris right now, yeah. It's good to have a big character on the, the like, and you are, like, a big character of the game, right? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I had my own, um, you know, way of doing things. Do you, and, and in your own way of doing things, you've um, you've just done the French version of Mars Singer, right? Yeah, I did. That was fun. No that was way. fun. Yeah, that was fun. That was yeah. fun. Can, can you sing, Gibril? Wow, in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> what did no, you it's sing? fun. It's fun. What, what songs uh, did you sing? I I sang uh, Maclemore. Right. Um, yeah. What else? That's a uh, tough song. Wham. To sing, right? Yeah, Wham. Wake wham. me up before you go. go. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was, that was sweet. That's cool. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I sung uh, Sweet Dreams. Oh, wow. Who Sweet sings that? Is that Annie Lennox? Are, yeah. 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 That's a tune, big man. And see, I, and then I tried to be nice. And, and you know, I said, okay, I, I have to sing a French a French song. Yeah. And I get, I sung the French one and they get me out. <laughs> um, well, how many, how many, what round did you get to? Uh, fourth. Fourth? Yeah, okay. six. And okay. what was the disguise they put you in? What was the what was the disguise? A uh, skeleton. That was cool. Oh, okay. wow. It's fun. Man, it's, a cool, it's a cool show. Would you do that show, Jay? Um, oh, do you know what, mate? That's the sort of show my, I'd like to do, but I don't know if I've got the nerve to do it. Like, do you know what I mean? I think, I, I think I'd just go a little bit. Like, just imagine going out. You're used to going out on stage, but no, nah, not, not for singing, me. Singing, no, but to me, no, nah, not singing. Tough. Karaoke, if you... Get me about half a dozen whiskeys or something before it. I'll be up there doing uh, it, like be moonwalking <laughs> up and down the stage. But to go in cold will be too much for me, mate. Man, I, I take um, like I take the hat off to anyone who can get up on yeah. stage and like singing for me as well. And because singing, yeah, but, right? You think you can sing in a car, right? When you're driving, you think, oh, I can sing. But when you get out there and like it's like you you've got to follow the music and you've got to be in tune. That's tough, bro. Yeah, yeah. but the thing is, you you in the you in the mask, so. You know, people don't really see you and you, they don't really know you, like who that's you are. That's a good until, point. Yeah, that's until, a good point. Uh, yeah, until you're revealed. But yeah, no, it's cool. It's fun. Seriously, it's fun. And you record in the studio. So you record yeah. your song before. Yeah. Then when you're on stage, it's like playback. You're just pretending really? to sing. Yeah, you don't sing live. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's a good pick behind the curtain there. Is it, was there any other footballers in there? 
Yeah. yeah. You know Basil, Basil Boli? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Legend of yeah. the guy. Legend Basil, of the and, and you played, you played, I think you played with one. He did last year. No. Who? Frank Leboeuf. <laughs> no way. Yeah, he did, he did last season. Mate, how was he? He can't sing, surely. Yeah, but yeah. He went, I think he went uh, semi-final. Semi-final, yeah? Yeah. Bye. I did Basil Boli. Basil went to semi-final too. Wow. Did he? Yeah. And that was, Basil, it's, a, it's a cool show. It's a family show. You know, it's easy yeah. to watch. Basil Bolly is infamous in, um, in England because you remember Euro 92 when he headbutted Stuart Pearce? Was that the run, oh. wasn't it, big man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah like Stuart Pearce is our toughest guy. Yeah. And then yeah, he just got walloped by Big Basil, didn't he? Basil <laughs> yeah, no, but, tough. Yeah, Basil is a, he's a strong guy. He's yeah, a strong yeah, well, guy. Yeah. He's not a small guy, that's for sure. One of my favourite things about you two, right, is so you've got a, a long, long relationship that goes a long way back, right? Well, yeah. it under 15s? Yeah, well, yeah. I, I was going to, I've been excited to ask Drew about this because we played England under 15s against France under 15s. I think we played at Old Trafford. Yes. And it was 1 1 or 0 0. It was a tough game. But the, and, and they was brilliant, Matt. They really blew... They, they should have beat us. And we went to a World Cup in France in Mont, called the Montague Tournament. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I remember watching Gibril and there was a guy called Pedro Camata. Camata, we, oh my God. That, what that a was player. My, uh, for me, yeah. he was the best of our generation from M far. Muff, like, I agree. Like miles away. But the thing M is, you know how football is. Yeah, it's not only the talent; it's yeah, you know, the head. Yeah. So he wasn't, he was wasn't really, you know, wanted to work. Yeah, uh, like he it, it wasn't keen into training hard and stuff. So he, uh, after Oxer, he left to he went to Italy, and that's it. That was the end of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mate, he, was he was like so talented. Golden dreadlocks as well, didn't he? Like, I remember yeah. he wore dreadlocks. He had gold in them. Yeah, at fifteen, yeah, yeah. and I was just watching this kid thinking. He was, he, was the, he, was, he was the best, like from far. Yeah, he was the yeah. best of us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, yeah. listen, and another thing about that tournament, right? So we talk about the things that went wrong with English football. We went, right, and I swear to you, we've gone to a World Cup at under 15s and we turned up and we, we stayed at a youth hostel, a YMCA. I promise you, big man, all the players got off the coach, 15 year olds, and went into this YMCA where it was like, Free bunks, you know, one of them like travelers, what, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. traveling Europe, like, and the, the breakfast, lunch, and dinner was uh, uh, toast and soup, and maybe, maybe possibly a bit like there was maybe a possibly a bit of jam or honey. We mm. and we we played a world cup on that, and then all of the, the dignitaries all went off and stayed in a lovely hotel around the corner. And it was just like, then we watched the French team turn up in like a luxury thing, and the Dutch team turn up and that, and then we was just. But that was like English football, but we were just, they've changed so much now. The young kids get everything, but we, we really yeah. we stayed in the YMCA for a World Cup. Did you play you against each other in that tournament? Did you play not against? In, um, not in that tournament. They won it. They were yeah, the best. Yeah, we won it. They we were bet, the best we bet, Yeah, we beat uh, Holland in the final. Two, yeah, I think two, not, two nil or two one or something. Like so let's, let's, let's talk about you when you first came over here and like the um, moving to Liverpool. Was that yeah. like the dream move for you? Was that your like English club wise? <clears throat> Yeah, well, in in terms of um, legendary club, it's difficult to do uh, to do better. You know, in, in Liverpool have a massive history uh, in terms of winning titles and in terms of um, you know even the cup. You know, the the cup it's really important in the in the football yeah. world. And to be um, and I was you know really close to Gerard Roulier, and Gerard Roulier was close to Giroud. So Everything was, you know, for yeah, me to, yeah. to 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 move on. So, um, so yeah, for me, I think it was the best the best move to do. Because you yeah. were their record signing at the time, right? Yeah, at the time, yeah. And uh, you know, my style of football, I think, was was suiting English the the yeah. English football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it? Um, what pressures did that come with? Like when you when you signed for a club like Liverpool as a record signing, Does, like because that's the thing. Whenever I saw you interviewed or saw you on the pitch, and I remember watching you a number of times but you never looked to me like a player who had felt, felt like pressure was on your shoulders you looked like sort of like you sort of walked a bit of a higher path and it was like yeah I'm just going to play the game but but did you find the pressure there? No to be honest no because um, at the time you know I just wanted to to progress and to improve my football 
and to to be you know around of great players like you know Steven Gerrard, Michael Owen stayed a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Jamie Carragher, you know Didi Aman, like World Cup winner. You know, you, I wanted to to improve and to to get better. So I wasn't really uh, I was excited more than uh, more than the pressure. For me, big man, I was never. Um... A major all through my career, I was never like a big money signing. Just the way the timings went with the, with the thing. So going to Chelsea, I was no pressure for me at all. It was more like uh, just you know you, you're part of all these other great players, and the same to Jibril because we're the same age. Mm. And when I went to Chelsea, it was just a case of like I, I want to kick my game on another level. Go, try and go and win trophies. Try and get mm-hmm. in this team, play with these great players. And and like I said, walking through the door and play and seeing people like Marcel Desailly. Emmanuel Petit, like it was just right. Right, I've arrived at a big stage now, and, and, and now I need to raise my level to play with these guys. Was it the Champions League final, Chelsea Liverpool? You played it. Was the was it the Garcia semi-final. goal? Semi final. Semi final. Semi final. Yeah. I played all the semi finals against Liverpool over the. We played them like three times out of four years. Yeah. And that, but that one, that game there, when that goal went in, um, I've never heard us. The stadium shook. Uh, that's what and I said to was, people. I was like. Yeah. That's a earthquake here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just like I, I've never, I've never been involved in an atmosphere like it. The intensity and the, the passion. And I don't know if I said it on this, but we, we won the, we, we won two trophies that year. We, we, we expected to beat Liverpool, to be honest, because we was, yeah, we beat them in the League Cup final, and we were like fifth. We won the league. There's a big gap between us, and um, we messed it up at home. Really, we should have put the game to bed, and then we went to Anfield. And as soon as you arrive on the coach, you just got a sense, oh, this, you know, this this was something different. And and the, the atmosphere, walking into the stadium, I played at Anfield many, many times before. There was something different about this night. And then when that goal went in and the place erupted, it just felt like they, I was playing against players that were like good players, you know, good players. You know, like I remember playing against Steve Finnan and he was a good player, Steve mm. Finnan, because I was playing off the left, but he gave me nothing that night. He was like supercharged. You know, I always thought I, I could, maybe if I could, get, if I could get turned and get at him, maybe I could make something. But he was, you know, he just marked me out of the game. They, the, all of their team was lifted to another level and it, mm. it, it, it was something special that night. And obviously we was on the wrong end of it, but looking back now, you can appreciate what a pivotal moment it was in that club. We're talking about, look, how long is it? 15 years yeah, ago, man. still yeah. talking about you, it. Because yeah. you were coming back from an injury, right? Well, quite, quite a bad injury, did real. And yeah. I remember that it was a, one of the worst things I've, I think one of the worst injuries I've seen that. And, and it was a broken leg, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and did you, so to be coming back, did you feel the sort of pressure or sort of like, how, what goes through your head, like going, right, I'm returning to fitness, we're in this massive semi final, potentially Champions League. Like, what was going through your head at the moment? Because you came on as a sub in that game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the, yeah. the thing is, that's the kind of, um, uh, it's, I, I don't even, you know, that's nothing to do with the kind of player, you know, if you're a good player or whatever. This is a man problem. <clears throat> you're yeah. a man or you're not. Mm. You look at yourself and you say, okay, so what should I do now? I mean, I'm, I'm into, you know, a, a big problem. What should I do? Should I face it or should I you know, turn my back and wait? I was like, no, I want to come back ASAP. Like I want to come back. I remember you know you you remember Mark Waller, the the doctor. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, Mark, yeah. No, Mark, no, came doc, yeah. To, Mark came to me and said, "Oh, Jib, uh, your season is is finished. I don't think you know you're gonna play again this season." And I remember telling him, "Okay, I'm gonna go to Ibiza on holidays and come back playing before the end of the season." And that was I was on the yeah. stretcher. <laughs> I was on the stretcher in you know, with all morphine in my arms and stuff. I told him, no, 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 yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not how it's going to end up. My season is not going to end up like this. It's not, you know, I didn't do all this job, all this work before signing this club to end up like this. This is not me. So, you know, work, work, work in your head, concentrate, focus. Yeah. And five and a half months later, I was um, I was in the in group for Juventus, uh, uh, Liverpool away, yeah, Champions League quarterfinal. What I love is you threw in a holiday to our beef. That's unbelievable. I, lo- I, I, d- I don't it. know I why. It. I don't know why. I love I that. I respect this. you so much. I don't know why. You're lying on the very stretcher. Important. You just throw, throw the leg and you just throw in the mix and go, yeah. I will be back, but I'm also going to have a holiday to our beef. <laughs> that's that, 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 <laughs> that was the, the, that was the muffin talk, I think. <laughs> you need to get the mind sorted. I found I had long term injuries. 
Mm. And you want you the, the hard work, mate. I know. Listen, no one's going to cry for footballers, you know, coming back mm-hmm. from injury. But it is it's the toughest thing to do. You come in, but the rehab's painful. It's long. It's boring. Um, you got to push yourself. In, and mm. then and and I found that I I had one injury where I was out for eleven months, mm. but um, I found that every two three months, if you had a little break where you went away, just to reset the mind, because you, otherwise you get fatigue and you don't do your work as well you come back refreshed so i, under, I understand mm. that but to, for him to come back from that injury because i remember it was such a short amount of time is is um is a credit because Thank that was a, that's that's ended a lot of players careers and i've went I think to play on for many many years after so that i know it. how tough that is you and you come back and arguably you come like you put you take part in probably one of the greatest games of football that's ever taken place in Istanbul. Yeah, the, I mean, what was, no, was like was you serious. get through Chelsea, you get through Chelsea, which was like, you know, Chelsea that season were an absolute, were an incredible side, amazing yeah. side. So you get through them, you know, Istanbul, Milan, like what, what is that like? I mean, Dibro, that, that must've been a hell of a thing, right? Yeah. Well, for, you know, for us, it was like the third miracle scores against Juventus. Hmm. You know, we, we, we support like if you see our team and Juventus team, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah the, they were great. They but, were, but that, was, that was a great team. Like Zlatan, Nedved, Huram, Cannavaro, Buffon. Oh, like yeah, Zege. Yeah, yeah. What 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 more do you want? Like yeah, who, yeah, who, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pele, an, an alien, <laughs> uh, something from Mars. <laughs> who, who, who you want? Who you want? Who you want to put in? Like you know, so. Okay, we'll get rid of the the Juventus. Then we played we played you, Drogba, Joko, Makelele, Dallas. Like I was like, what? So yeah. okay, we go through again, and we go to Milan even bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, three times. Hmm, that's, yeah. gonna, that's gonna be that's gonna be difficult. Three times. I'm not, I'm not sure, but you know, let's try. So yeah, we go we go to the game. You know, really focused. Everything, all the preparation, everything was on point. And we start the game and we concede the first goal early. Yeah. So then we start, you know, scratching your head and say, wow, that's going to be, I don't think you're going to go through this one. Yeah. Then, then you concede the, the second one, then the third one. I was like, wow, that's, you know, let's, let's not be the, like the, 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 the shame of the Champions League and don't concede like five or six. And, you know, that's, that's what we tried to do. And the most, I think, the, the the moment where we won this trophy, I think, it was the halftime. What happened? Because, like, like, like I've said, like I said before, I mean, like, you know, as, as a sort of sitting there as a sort of as neutral, but someone like you know, who wants to see English football do well. I remember sort of thinking, I remember being in a pub watching that, and you're three mm. 0 down, and like, I don't know what happened at heart, like, and that's that's what I want to get to, but. That second half of that game, I've never seen a pub turn and literally everyone to a man became a Liverpool fan. Like they were like literally like, wow, this is we're watching something pretty spectacular. What mm. what was said at halftime there? What what like who who took control of that? Who who was sort of like who was running that? First of all, the Mil- the Milan players had uh, a lot to play in. You know, they were like they already won. <clears throat> you know, mm. the attitude was like, you know, not taking us like seriously. Um, what's his name? Um, Gattuso was like he's already he's already won the won the, the no the trophy and everything. Yeah. So we came in. Uh, Rafa talked, you know, have his, his speech. Um, then Stevie talked, you know, really strong and deep words. You know, like he's uh, he's a kid of Liverpool. He's he's grown up watching Liverpool. You know, lifting trophies, and uh, it could be his turn now. You know, to work to. You know, carry the trophy by himself. Yeah, and um, and you know, for us, it was um, well, especially for me, it was like, you know, I, I didn't want to let him down and let the people down. Yeah, you know, I, I was like, you know, if I have the chance to play, <clears throat> if I need to buck my leg again, let's let's do it. Then yeah. you know, all together we look, you know, we looked at each other in the eye, and we like, yeah, I think I think there's something to do, and if we score early, maybe not. I don't want to tell you, yeah, we knew we we're gonna win the game because you know yeah. I'm not a, yeah. I'm not a psychic, but I know that if we if we scored early, okay, we can give them a run for them. So, you know, we can give them a fight and you know, clean up. What was it like for you watching that, Joe? 
because as, as a player, a Chelsea player, and like, it's always interested me to sort of think, because like I say, I remember sitting in, in a pub and yeah. I was with Arsenal fans, Chelsea fans, and uh, I remember people genuinely turning it and thinking, and I think probably some of that, I think in what Dibble says is like, I remember the cockiness of the Italian, like the, the Milan mm. side, I think almost like you're like, well, yeah. you don't, the well, last thing you want to do, because, you know, as English football, you don't want to see one of your teams go out and like, you, this is essentially mm. the best team that we we can put forward to the final. And mm. you don't want to see them get an absolute trouble in. So, but I remember like people just the pattern. How was it for you, Joe? Like as a team would be knocked out that Chelsea side, how did you, would you watch it together? Do you chat? Were you texting during it or? Honestly, mate, didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> you watch it? No, no, no. Because you still saw it was a still it's sore painful. One. It's, it's been, painful yeah, as it's a painful. footballer. Yeah. It, you know, you can see it back now. I can, you can watch it as. But as a, I remember, we was away with England. I remember as an England. I'm, I'm sure, maybe the boys can have a look. But I, I, we was in Chicago, with England, and I went for a walk. I was on the pier, and I was getting the messages coming through. Liverpool three 0 Dan, and I thought, I thought it just was like not something I was interested in because of mm. sour grapes obviously yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. i was um upset but then when they won it you're like what they, there was three nil down at half time and then they've come back and won and then you went back then i re-watched it i went back and watched it so i've got to watch this game now so i watched it again and again like that spirit from the semi-final with that team because like they was a very very good team but they said to come through juventus us and milan who arguably had the the, the bigger name players, the mm. biggest, you know, had won trophies, and to do what they'd done, they they was they was possessed by something that night. And that second half, Steve, that encapsulates Steven Gerrard, his career in a nut. He, he went, he played centre mid, and he was the best player on the pitch. And then for a, he went and played right back, and he was the best right back I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, you know, he could yeah. play in any position, and he just lifted that team. And then. By the way, that Liverpool team was a great side looking back on it now when you look at the players. But, but we just, because we'd beaten them a few times and we was 15, 16 points ahead of them in the league, we just thought, we felt it should have been us there. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It, it shouldn't. Liverpool deserved it and they would, they'd done us on the night. But I, get, I was, suppose I was a little bit, um, I was sore. I was very, did you, uh, did, yeah, To be honest, sore. Joe, did you want them to lose? Did, you? did I want them to lose? <laughs> like... um, if I want to be honest, yeah, yeah. Like that's and that's not, like I'm gonna be honest because as a footballer you're ruthless. Like yeah, you, yeah. you can sit there and say you can sit there, Tom, and say I'm an England. I, I wanted I wanted all English teams to lose apart from whoever I was playing for in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm, I, you, I know it might sound no. It's, it's now I'm completely different. If I was a Chelsea fan and I like and watching that, Joe, I'd have probably I'd have been with you. Have, but I think there was just something there was something very special about that. That that game, I think, like, mm. and I what I remember sitting watching it and thinking, you you, you I mean, we'll get onto a, another game in a minute, which I will then be a, I'll be a different side to it. But um, <laughs> uh, but I remember sitting there thinking, this is like the biggest game in club football, and you witnessing no, I something. Don't, I don't even think this this that was a um a, like, I think it was a like how do you say um mystical like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you know like. It, it's it's yeah. not normal. It's the changes between the first half and the second half. It's it's not normal. It's not no. normal. When no. you it's, got like, it's, on... it's a paranormal game. Like yeah, angels yeah, yeah, came yeah. down. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's crazy, <laughs> crazy. When you get brought onto a game like that, <laughs> the uh, angels are called Steven Gerrard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. They send, no, they was... send him. They send him to to the, to the world to save us. Yeah. Um, when, <laughs> when you came onto the into the game, right? What mm. was the score when you came on, Dibriel? Three no, uh, three three. Sorry, three three. Three all. Yeah. So in your head, are you thinking I could nick a winner here? Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> crazy. Even even at three nil, in my head, I was like, I gotta come on and score four goals. <laughs> that's, that's it, mate. That's the that's the spirit. If you if you're not like this, forget it. Yeah. 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 As a striker, if you're not yeah. like, I don't want to. I don't want to be like. Or, cocky or, or big headed. It's like if if you come and invest five nil as a striker, you have to tell yourself you're gonna score five goals. That's yeah. how it is. If not, if not, don't even yeah. go on the pitch. So when was, when Rafa sent me uh, to to warm up, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna score one or two goals and we're gonna win the game. Did you have any good chart? Do you have a good? I can't remember. Did you no, have not really. 
not really, not really. But um, you know, as the, other, the game was passing on, I was like really focused on my penalty, on the penalty shootout because that was the, yeah. the the ending. Talk us through that because that's there's nothing really bigger, I suppose, than that. I mean, probably a World Cup <laughs> final, with Champions League final. What is going? Because there's a confidence first still of all, here. All all the credits to all the defense, to all the guys. Yeah, like no problem to all all team. But what yeah. Jersey Dudek did at the like last five minutes, yeah. I don't know if you yeah. remember this save. I remember, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 what I say. It's mystic. It's a mystical thing. You can't even you can't even say you can't do a save like this. How, how uh, like how can Shevchenko miss this? With that shootout, Dibra, are you um? What is going through your head, right? You're like like everyone's done. You've seen everyone do like you're three nil down, three or yeah. you're going out to take a penalty. But how much is in, in that? And this is. For you both, I guess, because like penalty shootout wise, is it like obviously you want the team to win? That's a big thing, mm. but you don't want to be the guy who misses. That's like got to be like, like, like yeah. once you scored your penalty, are you like, whew, like the the onus isn't on me if we lose this? Yeah, you yeah, but I mean? we we stri- we strikers, we like to take goals, we like to take risk. We we mm. know it's it's we win the game if we score, if we don't score, and if the team lose, it's our fault. We yeah. know. Me, that's what I that's what I like. I like this kind of pressure. So I was ready. The manager, the manager didn't have to tell me I'm, I'm gonna shoot a penalty. It, I knew, yeah. I knew I'm gonna take one. That's Did that's you no, you that the question. You know, Vezekpa is to, he's big, taking a lot of room in the in, in the, <laughs> in the goalie. He's, he's quite big, but you know, it's me against him, and in my head I'm gonna score. You know, in- and I I was I was lucky because. Um, they, 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 yes, they had the first one they missed. Uh, we scored, they missed again. So before yeah. me, they missed twice. Yeah, so even yeah, if yeah. I miss, yeah, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a, it's not a big thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, the, that's I, I was really position. lucky. Yeah, I was really lucky in in, in this position, and uh, and yeah, I I scored. So it's it's yeah, it was cool. Yeah, the, rel- you, the relief. I was like, "Whoa, thank you!" Now. I was like, <laughs> "I was like 10, 10 kilos lighter." After the <laughs> uh, in two thousand eight, like... Joe, would you yeah. have wanted to take a penalty? Like you oh, got yeah, taken yeah, off yeah, for the shootout. Of course, oh, course you have yeah. To? Course, yeah. I mean, you can't be a, an attacking player and not and not put your hand up for a penalty. It's not. Exactly. It, it's not. It's not right. But yeah, I, I actually I come off for an Elka for that. So that penalty that an Elka missed. Mm. That would have been my my one because we had red like normal penalty takers like we had Lampard, Balak, um, all the boys, and then my one would have been an Elka's one. So he come on, he come on to take the penalty effectively for me. Which mm. which um, I must admit, Thomas, it's a funny position to be in because you get a sense in the game when a, when the game's going to go to penalties. You know, two teams sort of to accept it, and then your mind's there. And you're thinking about the penalty. So my mind was thinking about where I would take my penalty. And then I got asked by, I think it might've been Steve Clark or, or Avram when the ball went out, would you like something come up? Or I don't know if my mind's even playing tricks on me. And then I said, I said, of course I'll take one. But then when my number come off, it was a sort of a bit of sweet because you sort of like, Whoa, at least I don't have to take a penalty now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I had a little bit of that in me. A little bit of like, let's just get the job done. A little, your emotions in them games are so high. And I and another thing, going back to 2008, I didn't even realise it was raining until about 10 years later. And it rained for the whole game. Yeah, you that. know, like yeah, your main, yeah. you're so focused. You're like, I didn't really, I spoke to, I, I, 10 years later, I think I spoke to my dad about it or something. And I was like, um, he went, oh, I remember that night. And right, like, yeah, it was pissing down with rain. I went, no, it weren't. He went, yes, it was. So we had to go. I had to go. He went, look, I'll show you. And we looked at it on YouTube and it was raining for the whole game. Mm. Yeah, it was nuts. You're watching All to Play For, brought to you by Joe and Coral. Listen, Alan, you're welcome to come down and have a run out. We only play nine aside now. So, and it's, it's an age range from. Um, We've got some lads that are in their sixties playing down to like. Oh, uh, careful! <laughs> All right, don't get yeah. too excited. <laughs> Check out the full video now to find out why Rob is Alan's first winner. I, if I'm honest with you, I was trying to steer away from him to talk about this next bit. Um, this uh, is hard for him, Jibril. This is hard for him. FA Cup final, West Ham, Jibril. Um, ah, big, uh, you're a West Ham fan. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So when you talk about heartbreak. 
That, that genuinely, that is, <laughs> I cried. I cried my eyes out in Cardiff that night. Um, oh, like, it was. It was like that was because that was the opposite. Like, it, was, it was a different like because you were we were the underdogs going into that game. Like you yeah. were the clear favourites. I remember thinking like you know after watching Istanbul like well you know what we're coming up against here. I've never in my life. The, the performance of West Ham players put in was next level. Right, you mm. couldn't have asked for anything more. But it was just yeah. watching something. It was like literal, like, right, you, you know what I mean? When you're a kid and you, don't, like, give dead arms. It's like, mm. oh, you hit me on the arm, yeah. and then I'm going to hit you back harder. Yeah. And it was just like, it felt like, that felt like that. It was, I mean, do you remember what your memories of that game? Well, first of all, I was like, uh, I, I remember a lot, like, speaking a lot with the manager at the beginning of the game. Well, just even the days before, because he was like, he, I knew he was. He wanted to put me on the left side. Yeah, I knew. I, I played left wing. I was like, "Come on, man! What? Don't do this yeah. to me. It's a fi- it's a final. Leave yeah. me alone." I was like, <laughs> and he was talking. Yeah, Jib. No, no, no. It's it's okay. You can uh, you can go off the shoulder of Scaloni. No, no, no. Blah blah blah. I was like, okay, you know, for the team, you do it. No problem. Yeah. And uh, well, we start the game. Boom, one nil. I think Koncheski Con- yeah, scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then uh, Kara scored a non-goal. Mm. I was like, wow. So, like, 2 0 that's, that's going to be uh, difficult. Then we came back. I, I scored 2 1. A great pass from TV and good, really good finish. Uh, then, uh, then I think you scored again 3 1, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. 3 1. The yeah. le- left back. Yeah. The left back yeah. long, like, cross. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it went in. Then after you know another two mystical goals, because even today, I don't I don't even know if Stevie knows how he's called. You know, you both played with some mm-hmm. world class players, like across you know, derail for like you know for France for you know, where would you put Stevie G at the like as as you know where where would he rate? Stevie G is unlucky. I played with ninety eight guys. <laughs> I played with, with with World Cup winners. So, mm. you know, there's Thierry Henry, Trezeguet, uh, Zidane, mm. Pat Vieira, you, you know, amazing guys. But CVG is in the, is in the middle. He's, 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 he's here with us. He with can them. stand with them. He can stand, yeah, 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 he can yeah. stand with them players, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, Mass he's, he's, he's here. He's what, here. Was he da- Jibre, what was Zidane like as a player and as a guy? Speak to me. Oh. It is like, you know this this kind of player that you you look at him and you say, "No, nah, we don't do the same job." <laughs> like like he he was football and I was playing football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I was playing, but he was he was what I wanted to do. Like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. even you know, it wasn't like um, like crazy skills, like um, Ronaldinho kind of stuff. Yeah. But but every everything was like like so clean. You know yeah. the control clean, the pass yeah. clean. Even the, yeah. the the gesture of the like I was shooting the same, but my you know it wasn't the same. The gesture was nice, <laughs> everything was clean. You know I was like <laughs> fuck, like the chest <laughs> boom, boom, goal, st- the ball stay. You know me sometimes the goal go here. I have to do like crazy <laughs> fucking movements to catch the ball. It was, everything was clean, clean and and perfect. I was like yeah, yeah, yeah you know that's 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 a different level of fo- of football. Did you expect him to become a, a top manager as well? Because I've heard he was quite—he was quite quiet as a player. On, on that, yeah, yeah, he, he's he's quiet. But the thing is, is uh, you know the respect. You know, you know how important it is. Yeah. The players, they have to respect the 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 coach. If not, it's, it's never going to work. And yeah. that's that's what Zizou have. Zizou have the respect of everybody. So uh, so it's it's easier for him. I don't want to I don't want to take every, anything from him, but it's. It's easier than another coach for him, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, yeah. it's way easier, but it's you know he did he did everything he, he needed to do to be at his level now. So you know, credit to him. I mean, we'll talk about we'll continue talking about international football because uh, this is a bit of the show. You bro, we call uh, what really happened. It's Joe's favorite bit of the show. Uh, yes, <laughs> we get uh, we get uh, listeners, viewers, whatever we call them, who uh, who get in touch and uh, ask a question. To, yep. to our guest, uh, the uh, the big one here is all about 2010, the World Cup with France, mm. um, and um, and and I mean, and Elka Gate, and because uh, you you were a part of the squad, right? Yep. And uh, Nicholas and Elka, uh, 
and and what happened there. I mean, I watched the I watched the documentary about Anelka recently, which is amazing. It's incredible, and what a player he was. What I mean, he was. I mean, Joe played with you both played with him. Top, was, top guy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and and do you know what? I, I watched that and and remember remember him first coming over to Arsenal. Remember, right, you know, thinking what what a talent. But he he just when you talk about Zidane and 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 sort of that. There was just something about Nicholas and Elka that was just almost like Thierry sort of, you know, had it, but I just thought Thierry was sort of more affable and sort of like there was a coolness, whereas Elka was just like, it felt like nothing to sort of be this brilliant as a footballer. Do you know what I mean? And, mm, and mm. But, but what do you remember about 2010, Dibio? Uh, 2010, is that really uh, something I want to remember? Um, you know, that d- disaster in, in South Africa? Uh, yeah, it's um, it's it's not a good. It's it's one of the, I think the worst memory, uh, and way miles miles away from my injuries. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 when I say this, it's mean it's because of the, you know, like like we we said before with Joe, it's 2010, so it's 11 years, right? Yeah. And and we still something. Sometimes when you go on the streets. People still talking about this. Like, yeah, you remember the strikes on the bus? Ah, you didn't go to train. No, no, no. So people still remember this shit. Like yeah. Eleven years ago, and you know, it's not what, it's not what I want to be remembered for. Like, I want to be then, remembered for, okay, for breaking my legs, for scoring goals, for things, not for striking a, 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 a training. I think the moment wasn't right to, to send Nicholas home. You know, we had the game two or three days. Um, after the, after this mo- two days after we had the game like a crucial game because uh, if we have won I think yeah with two goals um, it was okay for us so you know it was it was an important game and Nicolas can score goals you know anytime Joe knows yeah. and um, you know I think it was a mistake for the federation to send Nicolas home two days. Uh, before the game, before a crucial game. So for me, it was like let let the game play. If we go through, we go through. If not, okay, you had you had the time to sort this out. I think the the French federation, very similar to the English federation, there seems to be every few years there 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 will be something where there's some kind of conflict with a, with with the players. I will say about Nicholas. Nicholas is uh, you know sometimes he's got a bit of a reputation, but as a mm. as a man, he's a he's a very good man. Mm-hmm. Um, he's mm-hmm. quiet, um, which can some be and shy, I think. Um, but he's a good man, and I, I've only got good things to say about Nicholas and Nilka. Um, and I think, I think, I think maybe his reputation might have gone before him with the French Federation because when you ask players who played with him, he's a lovely fella, great guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I confirm. I, I think that came across in the documentary. But it's, yeah, man, it's, it's amazing thing to. I mean. As you see the France team now, do you think that there's still that, you know, I mean, there's still, it's a crazy thing, isn't it? They, they still, generation after generation, still bringing through these players. Still, you know, and it just, you know, do you think they're still just going to dominate and dominate? Well, for me, I don't see all the, well, in, 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 uh, England coming back strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, apart, apart, maybe Germany, but I think England is strong. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, it, Fran- France is a little better, a little bit, you know, in terms yeah. of yeah. quality football and 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 in, in individualities. But um, in terms of team spirit, and that's that's what England knows. Yeah. The day when you need to go to work and to war, English can do this. French, you know, it's not our DNA to be a, to be fighter. It's we play great football. We play technique football. Speed, mm. we can score goals, but when we have to um, to fight, you know, the your you English, you can do this better than us. Yeah, yeah. I've, well, you know my stance on it. I think this is our time. Mm. I've yeah. looked at these things. I've, I've seen these boys grow up. Um, I've watched them. Your Foden's, your Madisons, you mm. know, Grealish, Ashford, Sterling. Like I've watched them all develop now, and and I think now mm. we're prime. These next mm. two tournaments. It's all. know we talked about earlier on about like things happening for a reason, and and I think I'm not saying this is, this is a bit absurd, but um, you know it, the tournament got delayed 
And mm-hmm. if we'd have played the tournament then, Carry Kane wouldn't have been fit and Marcus Rashford yeah, yeah. wouldn't be fit. We wouldn't have seen the emergence of Foden. Grealish, mm-hmm. we wouldn't have seen him have another great season. I think the team now is right. And there's an energy within England team, the England squad. And I think we're going to do it this year. I think, And I think we're going to be competing for the next two tournaments. And if if the stars align, it's our, it's our time. But France, apart from us, France are the best team. With, yeah, with, I don't, I don't, I don't see any team. I don't see any other team, to be honest. Even Germany is no. so-so. Mm. But for me, it's France, it's France and France and England. Yeah. Good about that England thing. I mean, I think you know the uh, like this weekend in that Liverpool Man City game. I think that Phil Foden for me was just oh, like that was you like, know, like yeah. just, it, it was like the you know obviously he's been incredible this season, but actually in a game of that size. Like to see, he was, he was yeah, the most. He was the most Salah of two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and exciting as an Englishman to see like a young English player mm. at twenty to come through like that. What mm. did you did you watch that? Obviously, you watched that game, Dibra. What what yeah, are your yeah. thoughts there? I mean, yeah, a lot lot be made of 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 Liverpool and you know, I, sort of. I, I mean, it's the the level there of the injuries and everything. You know that that they have suffered. When you're watching it, there's there's not a part of me that wasn't thinking, yeah, this is a different game if you've got Gomez and Van Dijk at the back. It's mm. a completely but yeah, but, but Man City were pretty special, right? Yeah, no, Man, Man City played played really good football, and I don't think that um, two defenders, you know, would have changed anything. The, you know, the, the way they played, and and Allison, you know, gave two goals um, to Man City. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, then after it, it's 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 difficult, you know, to um, to, uh, to 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 play against a team like this. You know, they were on fire. They were like everything was, and they missed the penalty. Mm. So uh, you know, it, I think it was it was Man City day. You know, I don't I don't think Van Dijk and Gomez would have changed anything. Yeah, I suppose as well. You could add that the Bruyne was out. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah and yeah. and Agu- Aguero, you know, is out for you know it, if. I think you know on the both sides they were like missing players, but I think I think Man City was 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 better, and you know there's mm. nothing else to say. What, yeah, but, what do you think going forward for Liverpool for both of you? Do you think that no, I mean but, it looks like City are going to take some catching, right? Yeah, but, C- oh, City, yeah. Will, City will win the league. I feel I feel bad for Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool and the Liverpool players because they've been they've been getting a lot of stick lately, haven't they? You know, like where they are and from from pundits and from fans. I think. Listen, it's tough to win the league again. You know, they've had an injury crisis. Jurgen Klopp, you know, he's, he, I, I, it's absurd, some of the criticism this team. That's, people saying that they're not, they're not a great side because they they're going to fall in the way. And not, they are a great side. They're having a bad run. And they'll be mm. back next year and they'll be competing again because Jurgen Klopp's a top manager. They've got top players and it's a top club. So mm. they're just having a bad moment. But Man yeah. City, a Man City, for all of, well, no, we talk, I don't want to keep going back to Chelsea and, and Frank and that, because we've talked about free rope. But when I look at Man City and they, you know, there was a little, you know, it was never bad at Man City, but people were starting to question Pep a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, there was, there was, and I'm thing, like, right? they've just gone, no, we're sticking with our guns. This is how we play. This is the type of players we've got. This is our system. This is, this is what we do. And he's just come round. And now you're looking at Man City thinking, wow, how can anyone catch him? They've got to be they've got to be favourites for the Champions League alongside mm. Bayern Munich. It's it's a nice little bet to be looking at because Man City are 14 to 1 to win the quadruple with Coral. That's a crazy oh. yeah, that's a good bet, you know. That's yeah, a, that's a good bet. Well, so that which is, is a good bet. Cup title. Well, quite, no, Ch- Champions Ch- League. Well, Champions two League. Yeah, two three so you've got the FA Cup, they're in the Cup Actually, final. I, good. I, I know. I, I think. I think Coral should offer more there. Actually, really, I'll throw that one in. See if they see what they say. I'll take see if twenty. I do a Joe I'll Cole special. 20, twenty to one. Joe Cole special for the quadruple for Man City. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would. I would. Have, I would have bet the quadruple though. Munich. Munich still. Be, Munich. Paris is strong. Paris is strong. Yeah. Paris I don't is know. strong. I, as I a Marseille think... fan, it hurts me. As a, as a Marseille fan, it hurts. Yeah. But, they, but they're, they're strong. Do you, Can um, I ask you a question about? Um, yeah. For, um, Messi and PSG. What's the talk in France now of him? Is it possible? Do you think that's possible? He could go to Paris. I don't. I don't think so. But you know, people talk a lot. So yeah. So you know, and, and you know, now in, in the modern football, everything is possible. Um, you know, if you spend the cash, you can buy who you want. Mm. 
But I, I, I don't, I don't see it. To be honest, you can't I see it. But no, no. But you know, I, I, I said the same for Neymar. Yeah. I said, I said no. Neymar would have never come to Paris. Look, he's here now, and yeah. he's, he's not living. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a uh, well, he gets paid a lot of money as well. Yeah, he? so <laughs> he's a great player. Neymar's one of my favorite players. Oh man, he's another level. I, my, if I'm putting myself in Messi's shoes now. I'm thinking, right, that Barcelona team is a, a rebuild. That's yeah. that's 18 months from getting com- competitive. They've got again. some great. They've got some great little youngsters coming. Yeah, through but it's going to take time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you know, and, no, 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 and, and Bappy. If I'm him, I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, right. I'm I'm playing as an he's playing more of a midfielder like a number ten now he drops deep and I'm thinking if I can play with Mbappe on the shoulder it's gonna give he, he'll, make, he'll have about fifty assists Messi who just keeps yeah, slipping yeah, him slipping yeah. him in and he's got a chance to win the Champions League again I think I think he's driven by that so I, and and something new so I'd love to see mm. him. Yeah, you think it won't be Paris. you think it won't be Man City you think it will be PSG if I'm here if I'm him I'm go I'll go PSG above Man City. I think at his age coming to the Premier League, I think it might be, yeah. it's not less of a free, he could get himself in the French League. Paris have dominated for the last 10 years, apart from once with Monaco run. And, mm. and the, I just think he's more suited for that now at his age. To come at 34, 35 to the Premier League, it will be tough even for a player yeah. of his quality. No. He'd be brilliant, but he won't be as brilliant. And I think he's I still got, got a chance to win the Champions League at Paris as much as he has at Man mm. City. I agree. I agree. Uh, yeah. The the English football wouldn't suit him. No. He would have played one game on ten. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's for it's sure. It's so, it's an age thing as well. Yeah. So Dibriel. Yep. I want to pick up like two last things with you. Yep. Uh, two things to pick up. Firstly, how was it Sunderland playing for Roy Keane? That was what was it? Lo- like? I seriously, I loved it. I yeah? swear to God, I was. I love I love this time, and I love this guy. He's crazy, <laughs> but like, but good. I, yeah. I liked him. I really liked him. Really, it was fun. Was this the same time when you you were like the Lord? Because I loved when you became the Lord of Frosham. Yeah, right? that was in that was in Liverpool. Was that like <laughs> that was a, that was just a, one of the coolest things? Because you you were a fly guy, man. You you had a look that was just unreal. Like you just bust. Like I can tell you, I used to see like your papers and stuff busting that like, outfits looks. You know when like I was like if I tried that, it would just not go right. <laughs> I mean, you just had a ability. But with the Lord of with Lord of Frotcham, what was that like? Being like, how was it? That, that's nothing. That's nothing. You know, you just I just bought the house. And um, well, the house was the manor, and it came with the title, like, and that's it. Uh, I, just, I didn't know you, you know, could do that. No, it's it just the guy said, "I'm the lord," so I he can he could have kept the the title of or uh, give it to me. He said, "Okay, I give it to you. You know, it's my pleasure." Blah blah blah. So you know, that's more a paper uh, journalist and paper thing. Me, I don't care. I didn't go out like by <laughs> oh. like, to the supermarket <laughs> with my ring and say, "Oh, kiss my ring." <laughs> I, you know, I, I, you know, I, I wasn't this kind of lord. I was like, chill, you know, chilling. Go to go to buy food, and that's it. Go home. It's it just, you know, it's nothing special. It's just fun. Imagine being at imagine being at the pub, Tom. We mate, my, my, just in my head. If I'm at the pub <laughs> with my mates, and uh, they ask me what I want, the, the the lord would like a yeah. I'd be calling myself. Pint, I'd pint lord, I'd be yeah, well, it out. I'd be like, where... mate, you'd have some fun with it, though, wouldn't you? You'd oh, have mate, some fun. I would be lording it up. Give, give a lot of pint, please. <laughs> like, come on, I've man. had it on the back of my shirt. I don't know, like, <laughs> <laughs> the Lord of Fortune. Lord, Lord of Fortune. But people, people, a lot of people used to, to call me like this. You're the only footballer I know who can turn around and say, like, we're at a Champions League, you play for the French national team, and once upon a time, you're also the Lord yeah, of Fortune. That, you're no, a no, Lord, bro. That's, that's, like, cool, that's, that's Are cool, you still bro. the Lord? I think I still have the title. Yeah, keep it, mate. Keep it. I think. I think. <laughs> That's, I can see JC. Look, JC's like that. That's what he wants next. I'd like the, that, mate. The I Lord of like. Romford. You could be the Lord of Romford. <laughs> yeah. I think I think I thought I was in the early two thousands, mate. I think that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give real, man. I know you've got to go. It's been an absolute joy yeah, chatting to you, like brother. It. Thank you, guys. Thank you, and thanks, you, bro. We're Great doing to again. speak so to you, mate. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So, JC. Yes. Give real, sissy. What a guy. What a G. What a. Um, you know what? I've I've never really spent much time with him playing against him loads and that. What a guy! You can tell he's he's going to be a he's well, 
he's a top DJ now, isn't he? Like, he's, yeah, he's only yeah. ever going to be, he was never going to like go and do something on the beating track, was he? He's like a top DJ now, on the mask singer, coolest guy, just sitting it's there. So cool. Oh, he yeah. was like, he busts, like, even there, just sitting there. Like, yeah. me and you are so close to the camera, and yeah. he's just like about a mile away from it. I know. Just chilled. Drinking his juice, just having it off. <laughs> Gotta love him. He lit a joss stick halfway through it. I think he did it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm in awe of him. I was like, you know, like when you were at school and you saw a kid, yeah. like it was just yeah. like the coolest kid in the school. And you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, everything that guy does. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. What's he wearing? What shoes he got? <laughs> I'm going to turn off on uh, next week's podcast in that track suit. <laughs> oh, mate, <you> listen. <laughs> or pay to see that big man. <laughs> <laughs> right, listen, prediction wise, JC, cool. you brought it back last week. Yes. I think you're the best week. Really? You and Trevor Sinclair, two out of three, right? Mm. You got your Villa let you down, Villa Arsenal. Okay. So we're going to rock and roll. Like right. It. Right. So let's go first up, Leicester versus Liverpool. Liverpool. So Man City Spurs. Spurs struggling to make the top four. They've gone down to 10 to three with Cole to make the top four. I think that's quite uh, generous. I do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's you'd have a nibble with that because Spurs are... At the end of the day, they, they, it's jostling. It, things are moving so quickly up there. You know, three games go and then someone will fall out. But I, I think Spurs can still do it. But I mean, going up against Man City, what are you thinking? Um, I'm going to go draw. Wow. Dress rehearsal for the cup final. I just, I, I, I still fancy Josie can get a result up there. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go draw. No, Man City all day there. Okay. Me. Man City all day. Last but not least, Arsenal leads. Gosh, um, Leeds is the hardest team to back. You just don't know what you're going to get. Oh, man. Literally, as like, I will tell you now, as a bet, and I like a bet, I like a little nibble. But I've st- about two years ago, I stopped with betting with Leeds because Leeds can b- smash the team and they'll lose to so, like yeah. no one. Do you know what I mean? So mm, I'm going to go Arsenal. I want to go Leeds. Go okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bet Leeds. Cannot bet Leeds. I'm going to go Leeds. <laughs> I wanted to talk you out of it. I just fancy, yeah. I just fancy they're going to get amongst it. I, I think know. it'll be a good game, that. That's actually out of the three of them, the one I'm kind of looking forward to. Absolute dream chatting to you as always, my brother. Nice one, Tom. Next week, we've got a big, big... I can't I can't say who it is. Next week, really? we've got an absolute legend of the game. Really? So Barry yeah. McGuigan, is it? <laughs> we'll come excited. I'm excited, I'm excited now. <laughs> Stuart Ripley. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've been listening to All to Play for brought to you by Joe and Coral. We'll see you next time. See you next time. You've been watching All to Play for brought to you by Joe and Coral.